Hello and welcome back. So this is going to be a review on an indie brand called M Cosmetics. They are a Canadian company and I heard about this company from Amy Loves Makeup on her Insta stories and then also Pale Girl Chic did a review on them as well. So I was very interested and I placed an order. So intriguing about the brand is that everything is handmade, which I think is really cool. So the product that I saw on Amy Loves Makeup Insta Stories was this lipstick. And when I saw this packaging, I thought, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to try this. So I bought this lipstick and I bought four eyeshadows and one highlighter. Now this is a Canadian brand, therefore the prices are in Canadian dollars. But, so let me just tell you, so the lipstick is $12 Canadian. So US, that's a few dollars less. The highlighter was $14 and there were matte eyeshadows are $7.59 Canadian and the shimmer shadows are $6.49 Canadian. So for all those items, I paid $60 Canadian, which was about 47 US dollars. So it is a pretty good price brand. As we know, a lot of indie brands do tend to be more expensive, but that is because they're making small batches and this company is making them handmade, but I think their pricing is okay. Great. So let me show you the eyeshadows that I got. These four colors here. And I will show you pictures of two looks that I did with them. I'm not wearing the eyeshadows now, but I am wearing the highlighter. So this first one here, and I'll show swatches as well. This is Cupcake Frosting. It's basically a pink mauve. This matte blends so easily. I really, really like it. Perfect in the crease. And then this one is a matte green. I kind of got a random assortment of colors just to try them out. This one is called Palm Tree and it is a matte green. And this is so pigmented, but it blended very easily. I was really impressed with that one. And then the two shimmers I got, this is Venice. I mean, that is such a beautiful metallic and this is metallic, metallic. And then so is this one. This is more of like a minty blue green. This is Hawaii. So yeah, these are kind of standard pan eyeshadow sizes. These are some depotted color pops. So these were from those palettes that are smaller. So these are standard like Mac makeup geek sizes. And the matte formula blends so easily and they're so pigmented and the shimmers are intense. The shimmers do get fallout when you're putting them on, but then you wipe it away and no more fallout happens throughout the day, which I really, really Let like. Let me show you a look where I was wearing Cupcake Frosting in the crease. I was wearing a different gold eyeshadow on the inner half of the lid. And then on the outer half, I was wearing this metallic green. I was trying to go for like a colorful but neutral look and I actually do like how it turned out. The second look is more intense. I wore this minty blue green on the lid and palm tree, the matte green in the crease. And I really loved this look. It was super dramatic. And these shadows do not fade. They are fantastic. The day that I wore the second look, I took a three hour nap like with my face in a pillow and my eyeshadows still look perfect when I woke up. I mean, I had a primer on, but still, I was really impressed. So these shadows are very, very high quality. I'm definitely curious to try more colors. The colors I bought are kind of random, but these are just the ones that called to me. But yeah, these are very, very good. Let me show you the highlight. This is called Peach Silk. And I'll show you the swatch. It's a peachy pink, and this is super metallic. So I am wearing it today. It's, I had to like really blend it out because I put way too much on. Um, and I've worn this several times and it lasts really well throughout the day. And I really, really like this color. I've been more, I've been wanting more peach highlighters. Um, you know, not that I don't have enough. This one may look slightly more pink than peach, but it is a peachy pink. And I think it is beautiful. And they do have this pretty like, their um, emblem on there. It's hard to tell because I've used these, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, those are the four eyeshadows. They are fantastic. And the highlighter, 
super beautiful and very metallic as you can see we're very very impressive and yeah so the pricing i think is pretty good especially when you're going from the canadian dollars to the us dollars i think well worth the price oh and shipping was only i think like five or six dollars so that total of this order i said it was sixty dollars canadian 47 dollars us that included shipping so that was really impressive and these things came from canada i live in the us from the day i placed the order it maybe took a little over two weeks to get them but that's really not bad considering that's international so i was really impressed with okay, that. this lipstick okay just, just look at this beautiful packaging it does kind of remind me of like that mariah carey one except for mac except that was silver and this is pink and it's way more beautiful i think it is a plasticky packaging, but it does not feel super cheap or anything. Um, so I got the color Caramel Latte. So as you can see, that is handwritten. So this is, I'm not wearing this today. I have worn it several times though. Let me swatch it. So as you can see, it is a taupey brown and it is metallic. But I think when I wore this on my lips, it actually looked less metallic than it does in the swatch. Um, but you can see the sheen there. So it just gives a nice sheen. It is a thin formula, so it doesn't feel thick and gross. I mean, it fades like on any other tube lipstick, um, but it does fade gracefully. I was worried that it, since it is a metallic lipstick, that it would fade in a very unflattering way and look weird, but it doesn't. It fades just like really well. So yeah, I really like this. I don't have any colors like this. I wasn't sure what colors to get. Um, so I was like, you know what? I don't have any metallic lipsticks. Let's just buy one. Um, so yeah, I actually do really like it. I actually really like brown lip colors on me though. So yeah, this packaging, I know I keep talking about the packaging, but it's really amazing. And how do you hand make a lipstick? I don't know, but that looks really good. So I am super impressed. And they have a lot more than that as well. They have blushes and makeup brushes on their website they sell quite a lot of things so i only tried a small sample but i've been testing these things out for over a week and i really really like it i'm impressed by the quality the lipstick the highlighter and the eyeshadows are all really really good i feel like quality wise the eyeshadows probably are the most stand out like very very good quality the mattes blend very easily and the shimmers are very metallic, which is what I really enjoy. So yeah, those are the only products I tried though. Let me know, have you tried this indie brand or are there other indie brands that you have tried? So yeah, I have been very impressed. Those are my thoughts and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.